Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you this alternative take on a diaper fold treat pouch. This pouch is using the Celebration Oso oh Ombre paper, which is free with a $50 purchase between now and Sunday, February 28th of 2021. It's a beautiful pack of six by six paper with Blackberry Bliss, Bermuda Bay, Rococo Rose, and Granny Apple Green. I love the ombre effect. You can have both the circle pattern or the solid pattern. Great pack of paper. And we're also going to use the Celebration stamp set, A Touch of Ink. This is free with $100 purchases, but definitely use what you have in your stash. This is a great stamp set because it's got line art and watercolor images and some great sentiments. And I just love the sentiment. Thank you so much. Now let me show you how easy this is to make. This is one of my favorite kinds of projects because it uses 6x6 designer series paper. Great for our papers that are already six by six, but also great for our 12 by 12s because you can just cut it down. And it's a great project for making multiples. So I know you have probably made a diaper fold pouch before that looked something like this. I decided to add an additional score line and then some magnets to close that. Inside, I've got a Ghirardelli square. This is one of those chocolates without the filling, so it's a little bit thinner, but the ones with the filling work as well. They're just a little bit bulkier. I just wanted to show you the difference in thickness. The ones without the filling are just a little bit thinner than the ones with the filling. I love this project so much, so let me show you how easy it is to make. I'm starting with a six by six inch piece of Oso oh Ombre. For this version, I wanna have the Bermuda Bay on the outside. And I'm also paying attention to the pattern that I want when I fold the paper backwards. I like this lighter pattern on the Rococo Rose side. It's easiest if you choose a paper that does not have a directional pattern because we are gonna be folding this into diagonals. So the first fold we're gonna do is from corner to corner on the diagonal, meeting up those two points and fold and burnish. The next trick I wanna show you, we're gonna use the Simply Scored scoring board, and I have drawn a Sharpie line here at the six inch mark that helps me line up things when I wanna do some diagonal folds. I am gonna line up the flat edge, so that folded edge of the designer series paper along this top edge of the Simply Scored, and then I'm lining up this point at that six inch line. Next, I'm gonna fold one layer of that paper from corner up to the six inch mark. I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna do the same thing and flip it over. I'm gonna take the corner and then fold it up to that six inch mark again. Okay, so like so, we basically have it folded this way. And this was the corner that I wanted to be on the front. So this back one, I'm actually gonna fold it the opposite direction because this is gonna end up being our flap that folds down. I'm gonna come in and burnish, okay? So let me just repeat what we did. We first folded corner to corner. Then I lined it up on the Simply Scored, the folded edge along the top here, lining up that point at six inches. We folded that back up to six, flipped it over and did the same thing. Then you just wanna look at your paper and determine which corner you want to fold down and which one you want to be your back flap. So we wanted this lighter Rococo Rose to be the one that folds down. And this is gonna be our back flap. So what I'm gonna do is flip this over because I'm gonna make that second score line here. You'll notice that this score line is at the two and one eighth inch mark. I want to then score at two and three eighths. That's gonna give me a quarter of an inch section here. I'll show you that up in the light. And then I'm going to then come in, fold and burnish. So it's really just that little extra step with that quarter inch scoring mark, like so. Okay, so just repeating that, I flip this over and we scored at two and three eighths. All right, so this is our back flap. We're gonna leave that alone for now. I'm gonna fold up this front flap and I'm gonna line up, see this fold line here. I'm gonna take this corner and this edge, I'm gonna fold right where the end of that fold line is, fold this up, and line this edge right up along that fold line. And then come in and burnish. Same thing on the opposite side, folding up to where that fold line ends, and lining up that edge with the fold line. And burnish. 
So this is the basics of a diaper fold treat pouch where this would fold down, we put our little treat in, but I wanted to have a way to keep that treat in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in my next trusty friend, which are the glue dots. We're gonna stick down a couple of areas here. So folding this back up, I'm gonna put a glue dot on the back of each of these points. Not totally necessary, but it is nice to kind of keep things into place. Fold that down and that down. Okay, so those are gonna stay put. Then I'm gonna grab two neodymium magnets. I'm gonna separate them, put one off to the side, and I'm gonna pick up a glue dot with the other one. And I'm gonna place that right below, or sort of in that point here, that's where that magnet's gonna go, okay? Then I'm gonna come in with another glue dot and place that on the back side of the flap that's gonna fold down, and that's gonna hide our magnet out of place, okay? Like that. Next, I'm gonna grab my Ghirardelli square, pop open that pocket, and slip that chocolate in. You wanna make sure you push it down all the way, and then we can go ahead and fold that flap. Okay, now holding that in place, I'm grabbing the other magnet, and I'm gonna just drop it on the front and it's gonna line up, these magnets are very strong, it's gonna line up the right positive or negative side to that magnet. Again, bringing in our glue dots, I'm carefully picking up this magnet and making sure to put the glue dot on the back side of it, the side that stuck to the other magnet. Close my flap here and drop that into place and that's gonna stick right where it needs to go. I'm gonna grab a trio of dimensionals here, one on the top and one on either side of that magnet. I'm also gonna add a glue dot to the top of this magnet. This is just gonna hide that magnet and we're gonna put our little oval sentiment right over the top. I'm gonna to take those backings off and then set this off to the side. Next, I'm using the thank you so much sentiment again from a touch of ink. I'm gonna stamp that in Bermuda Bay on a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. I'm using the double oval punch, which is actually currently backordered and not orderable because it's been so popular, but you probably have an oval punch in your stash. If not, you can use a circle punch or circle or oval dies. And I'm gonna come in with the smooth oval and punch that sentiment out. Now you're gonna also end up with this white piece. And here's what I recommend doing with this. Here's a little tip. Go ahead and ink up the sentiment again, and we're gonna stamp that right in the center. And then I'm gonna feed that back into the punch and I'm gonna grab the putty end of my take your pick tool and then I can slide that around to get that sentiment right where I want it to be and then punch. And then we've not wasted that scalloped oval. We've reused it to have another one of these because you will make a bunch of these. All right, then I've got a scrap piece of Rococo Rose and we're gonna punch the scalloped oval. I'm gonna grab multi-purpose liquid glue we can lay this sentiment right over those dimensionals and the glue dot on the magnet. Press everything into place. Then we've got this great hidden magnetic closure on our diaper fold treat pouch. And now let's dress this up just a little bit. I'm gonna grab a medium rhinestone, and place that right at the bottom of the sentiment. Then I'm grabbing the white baker's twine from the snail mail twine combo pack. And I'm gonna tie a little bow here. And to adhere this, I'm gonna use the fine tip glue pen. And I'm just gonna add a little dot off to the right side here. Tiny little dot of glue. You do have to give this a little bit of time to dry, but it's really gonna hold on to that twine bow much better than a glue dot will. Coming in with a pair of reverse tweezers, you can use your take your pick tool or any tool you have to just sort of press that in place. And I'll set that off to the side for a few minutes to dry. But there is our adorable diaper fold treat pouch. This is a pretty addicting treat holder to make. Super fun to have a stash of ready to give out as random acts of kindness. The chocolate won't fall out and I just love the way it looks like a little clutch. Let me show you what happens when you can't just make one. How cute is that? So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements and details. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. 
And if you don't want to miss a thing, you can subscribe to receive blog updates via email, and you'll receive an email each time I publish a new post. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle, and it's a great way to fill your wish list for less. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join, and I'd love to welcome you to the Stampin' Up! family and my team of paper pixies. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like complimentary copies of our current catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com slash happy mail. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.